The San Martin has two main actions when digging, one modified to perform different tasks. An excavating scratch with one or other foot and a pedalling movement of both feet to excavate or remove sand. If presented with a clean face after overwinter erosion, the bird or birds will approach the chosen face as a flock and hover in front of it. The diggers will then strike at the face with one foot after the other quickly. They are able to keep up this activity for four seconds and after that time the flock will fall away from the face to recover. They will then approach the face again and carry out the same activity until each is able to cling to the indent that it has made. From this point the San Martins will perform the second type of digging action whilst lying along the indent laterally on either of their sides. Clinging to the face with one foot and using one wing held down the face for support they will then strike at the face in a forward to backward motion with the other foot. These actions, when starting digging on a clean face, investigated over 40 years ago, are not shown in this video. Once they have formed an indent long enough to enter with the front part of their body, they will then hold the position with one foot and also supported by the wings, use the other to scrape at the tunnel side or end areas that require removing. Leg reached out in front and leg and foot drawn backwards. Sand is removed from the tunnel by using the legs in a pedalling manner as they run down the burrow from the entrance, throwing the sand backwards as they go and so gradually moving it along the burrow towards the entrance and out. They will also perform this pedalling action to throw sand backwards from a stationary position. Both of these actions are shown in this video. Note that the bill is not used to dislodge sand. It is used to carry other material into or out of the burrow. The average length of the tunnel dug in the study area was 700 millimetres, with a minimum of 300 millimetres for a burrow holding a nest and a maximum of 1800 millimetres. The maximum length of the centre claw, the one normally worn down, was found to be 9mm, with 7mm being the normal length on return to the breeding site. This would be worn down to 2mm in hard sand and would grow at 0.1mm per day to remain at about 4mm through the season.
both of the sexes are able to dig, as you will have observed. <laughs> 